Okay, so for project today, we're gonna make some binoculars. And I was thinking it would be fun if you saved them and we could use them for like our walk Wednesdays or something like that. Uh, but if they don't make it, that's fine. So the items you're gonna need, you could either use some pieces of paper. I'm gonna show you several ways to do it. Pieces of paper, or if you have two paper towel rolls, or if you have two toilet paper rolls. I had one paper towel roll. So I gave it a little pre-cut before I got in here. You guys could have your student cut it. They're pretty thin. I, I don't think it's too, too hard. Um, and, and if it is, that's fine. You guys can break it in with your hands too or however you feel or mom and dad can help. Okay, so I'm gonna take two here now. First I had an ocular because it was just one. Now I have binoculars by two. Okay, so I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna take some tape and I'm going to tape these guys together all the way around. First, you might wanna color these. You could color them after too, either way. And then you'll have your nice binoculars and you can go exploring with these. Yeah, you could color it after or before, either way and make them so beautiful. You could draw the things that you hope you can see on them. Like, I hope that I see some birds with mine. So I'm gonna draw some birdies on mine. See my little birdie? Draw another little birdie. These birdies are pretty easy. I'm making kind of just like a triangle upside down without closing the triangle up. Two-sided triangle, a birdie. Oh no, I dropped you guys. Okay, so if you don't have some of these, you can use a piece of paper. I'm using my recycled paper from yesterday's arrow, which is kind of a cool design. So I'm gonna do some more arrows so it looks really cool. And you're gonna need both of them. So then you're gonna take this paper and you're gonna roll it up. You'll have a nice single one, nice little ocular going on. Little can look. Ooh, can you see in mine? <laughs> and then after you get that all, you roll it into a circle. And that's going to be a little hard for your hands, so that'll be really cool for me to watch you do. And then you're going to take your tape. Wow. Now, I'm going to be really impressed if you can do both of those at the same time. But you might need someone to help you hold it while you tape it down. And then you're going to tape the other one you've decorated. And look, so to help you roll, it always helps if you kind of like crease your paper a little bit. So I'm gonna like do a little paper crease and then I'm gonna use my hands and I'm gonna roll it in. I'm gonna tuck that paper into itself all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. And when you do that, you're gonna notice it's probably maybe kind of small. You can make it small or big. You can have a big fat one, right? Or you can make it really tiny and really fold it into itself. Okay, and then you're gonna tape it again. I'm gonna do this cool move. I'm gonna hold it with my one hand and then I'm gonna lay it down with my other hand. Okay, see how I'm doing that? And then I'm gonna fold it over. Okay, so now I have two of them, right? So then what do I have to do? Wow, this is a lot of tape, huh? So then we're gonna take our next tape and we're gonna wrap it around. Oh. <gasps> If you have both of these things, if you have these and these, you can make both. I'd love to see what you guys get and I'd love to see you making it. I can't wait. Have fun. Oh my goodness, guys. I am having so much fun with you guys this morning. Everybody's doing such a great job. I'm loving the vocabulary everyone's using and all the questions we're asking. We are learning so much. This is great. And I, I love that you guys are all using different colors and different kinds of paper. And you guys are working so hard with your tape. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Look how happy Miss Sarah is. So for me today, for your faces, I thought it would be really fun if we could use as many shapes as we could think of to make our faces. Come here, Maddox, help me out. So I'm gonna do a circle. And if you said the shapes while you did that, that'd be even cooler. I'm gonna do a circle for my head. And I'm gonna do, hold on Maddox. And I'm gonna do ovals for my eyes, but I'm gonna do sideways ovals. Whoa. 
And then I'm gonna do more circles for my eyeballs in there. Let's see, and I'm gonna do arrows for eyebrows. Arrow eyebrows. Yeah, good circle, Maddox, nice. And do your eyes. And I'm gonna do a triangle nose. I'm gonna do an upside down triangle nose. Do my nose. Okay, you do your nose. And I'm gonna do a rectangle mouth. Rectangle mouth. And I'm gonna do little square teeth in my rectangle mouth. Oh yeah, and let's see, for my hair, I'm gonna do, oh, I'm gonna do heart hair. Oh yeah, because I have really curly hair and hearts kind of look like curls. So I'm gonna do heart hair. Do your hair too, Maddox. I'm gonna do some hair. Do, do a big hair. Yeah. Do a big hair. Big hair? I'm gonna make it so big. Look at all those hearts. So pretty. Mom, do my big. And what other shapes? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, semi-circle, I'll do cute little, uh, I'll do happy cheeks, happy cheeks. Semi-circles, I think that's pretty good. And this face, I think this face is hungry. It's like, um, 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 feed me something yummy. Um, 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 um. Okay, today we're gonna read Cleo the Cat by Caroline Mockford. Cleo the Cat. And a kitty and a butterfly, a little orange tabby. Does anybody have cats? Cleo wakes. Cleo winks. Look, she got one eye closed. That's winking. She would have one eye open. One eye open and one eye closed. Taking a nap. Taking a little kitty nap. Cleo yawns. <gasps> Keep. Cleo blinks. That means two of her eyes are closed. She blinks. Can you guys blink? Cleo needs a friend. Meow. Cleo is all alone. Aw, poor Cleo. Poor kitty, don't be sad. Cleo takes a walk. Cleo wants a home. She's walking around looking for somewhere. <gasps> Cleo finds a house. Meow. Uh, anybody home? Meow. Cleo looks inside. Hmm. I wonder what's in there. <gasps> Cleo hears a noise. Cleo tries to hide. <gasps> She's gonna hide in the back. Oh. <gasps> Before someone comes. Cleo feels hungry. Oh man, somebody better feed that kitty. That kitty's making an awful lot of noise. Here's a bowl of milk for you, kitty. Here you go, kitty. Cleo's so happy now. Cleo licks her paws to clean up all the milk. Cleo takes a leap. Boing! He's gonna jump up. Cleo starts to purr. Can you guys purr? That's what kitties do when they're happy. Can you guys make a purr noise? You gotta roll your tongue in your mouth. Cleo falls asleep. Sleepy little kitty. In their hands. In their hands. Aw, kitties love to get pet. Oh, the end. Happy kitty got herself a home. Yay, Cleo the cat. Mama. So for today's dramatic uh, stuff to do in our work area, we are going to have grocery store. So if you want to have them get a bag and walk around the kitchen, maybe you want to put stuff out. Maybe you want them to like look in the refrigerator and look in the cabinets and go shopping. 
maybe write them a grocery list to look through to find things. Uh, remember, this is all optional. This is like their free play time for work time. But if you want to do that, that's always a fun, exciting, extra thing to do during the day. And I'd love to see it. That was great. That was so fun. I felt like we were right in the grocery store. I love how you kept referring, looking back at your list. That was so good. And you checked to make everything was there. Good job. Okay, so for outside time today, we have two little things we can do today. So you are gonna need your binoculars for our second part. Ooh, look, there's a reflection of the water and it's on Miss Sarah's face. Whoa, it's almost making it where I can't see because the shiny reflection of the water. That's cool. Okay. Anyways, so today we're gonna need a lot of containers. I would say you need at least five containers. I'm gonna start setting mine up for you guys while you guys look for your containers. I'm gonna set one container up there. If you have stairs, that's even better. You can do this on the ground. Yeah? You got our binoculars? Awesome, hold them for me for a second. I'm gonna set up this project. We're gonna make a fountain today, guys. So you're gonna need something so you can stack your no, no, no. So you can stack your water containers. Please don't. Set them up. So like I said, if you had stairs, you could like get rid of these. You wouldn't need those. But we're gonna make our own fancy fountain, guys. So you're gonna want a bigger container and then a smaller container to go into your large container. We're gonna use a pool because we're gonna just play in the water today when we're all done so you guys can do it however you want first we try to do it in just a bucket like this to have them overflow into each other so this is kind of fun for science so yep good and fill this top one up too fill this top one up and you're gonna have your students start filling them up fill this top one first yeah keep going keep going and I would make the containers as big as their patients so Maddox has a lot of patience, so I filled up a big, good, fill up this big one first though. The big one, the big one, big one, green one. Fill up the green one with water. Good, good. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold it, you fill it up. Keep filling it up, get more water and fill it up. Here we're gonna take a we're gonna take a little shortcut so you guys can see. We're gonna fill this one up. So once you get your one full of water, go get your cup, Maddox. I need you to put more water. Once you get them both filled up pretty good with water, get that. Good. Come put it in this green one. Put it in the green one. And as it overflows, keep going. Get more. We need more water. More water in the green one. And we're gonna see as there's not, put in the green one. As the water fills up in there, it's gonna start coming out there. Ooh, we've got like a little trickle coming down. We need more water, quick Maddox, quick fireman Maddox. Fill it up with some water. Green one, green one, green one, green one, green one, green one. Oh, and look, it flows into there like a fountain. And then it overflows onto that one. And we have a big, beautiful fountain. Wow. I can't wait to see what containers you guys use and how much fun you guys are having. Then after you guys work with all your water, get your binoculars. Your binoculars. I have extra long ones. And I want you guys to see if you can see any clouds. We have clouds off in the distance over there. We're gonna see if we can see them in our binoculars. Oh, I can see them in there. I wanna see, oh, there aren't very many clouds in my sky. See if you guys have any clouds in your sky. And when you're looking at the clouds, I want you to tell me if they look like anything. I think that one out there kinda of looks like a dragon. Whoa. You see a shy shy. You see a shy shy? Yeah. You see a puppy? So everybody so I was wanting to really do one in this bucket. 
but we couldn't figure out how to do it. But then if we just balance, we use a piece of wood over the circle, there we go, and we put another bucket on top of that. Yeah, and then we start filling up this bucket, and we fill it up, and as it overflows, it's gonna flow into that one, which is gonna flow into the pool. Ooh. Can you do it, Maddox? Oh, and then, oh! So like I said, I always love to see how creative you guys get with your projects using what you have at home. We had a big box, and we decided to make a small scale fountain on a giant scale. <laughs> so just one bucket, and it's gonna overflow into our pool. Is it gonna overflow, Maddox? Yeah. Like a fountain? Were you in it like a boat? Keep your hose in the other one so it can overflow. And make a fountain. Look at our fountain. It's look how big that waterfall is. Oh, I think you have to sit in so it's full enough. Look at that water displacement. That's what we're doing today, guys. Just a bunch of water displacement. We move the water. Water fits into what you put it in. Look at that. Look at the water. Wow. So beautiful. Guys, so fast. All of our water disappeared out of there because Miss Sarah got in it and it made all the water go away. So now we've got to refill it again so we can have a fountain. Should get in now? Because it's almost full to the top. Let's see. We'll show our friends. It's almost full to the top. We'll wait till it's all the way full. Once it's all the way full, Miss Sarah will get in. I don't know, it looks almost to the top. See, we're almost at the top, almost. Oh, are we at the top? Okay, so now we're gonna show how this whole water displacement thing works. Okay, so we got a full thing of water. Mama's gonna get in right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna get in here. Oh, look, it's already water starting to come out. Look at this. Oh. And then I get out and look, almost all the water's gone. Can you guys see? Can you guys see that almost all the water's gone? Like I can almost get my whole hand without it getting wet. See, there's just at the tips of my fingers. Yeah, show them with that, Maddox. See, the water's not full. That's where it's at because Miss Sarah's so big, it makes all the water overflow out of there. Should we show them again, Maddox? So we go in the water. Water. And then look, now it's almost empty in there. Now we have to fill it up again, huh? Thank you, Maddox. See, it's almost empty. And it was so full, but then someone big got in it and made it all overflow all over the place. So remember, all these projects you can get as wet as you want or as dry as you want. You can do them as big or small as you want. You could use little cups. You could use a big pool like I did. So it's all up to you guys on how you guys want to play.